Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I'm back with some figure reviews and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new NECA seven inch scale figures, the Joker on the left and Batman on the right. So the Joker on the left is from the Dark Knight with Heath Leather's Joker and the one on the right is the 66 Batman, which is um, Adam West. Now, I, this came out of nowhere. I found this out like a week before or maybe even a few days before the release and they just got like they, they just announced it and then they hit stores like out of nowhere and these are Toys R Us exclusives um, There is gonna be a Superman with this but the Superman one has not been released just yet So they're gonna it's the Christopher Reeve one also so I think that one's gonna get released probably sometimes at the, sometime at the end of the year now um, It seems like NECA is just gonna be doing like downscaled versions of their 18 inch figure So hopefully they do it with all the ones that they're gonna be releasing so if that's the case when they release the Batman Begins one, we're gonna get that'll be cool if we get a, a seven inch Batman Begins um, figure by NECA. But, anyways, so we're gonna take a look at one figure and we're gonna take one out of the way. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the Joker here from the um, Dark Knight uh, movie, the film, obviously, with Heath Ledger. Now, I'm stuttering a lot here, I'm just excited to have these in hand. But um, the figure is nice. The packaging looks pretty much the same as the 18 inch figure. So it does read the Joker right there. And I did do a review on this guy a while back when uh, he was released in the 18 inch scale. So you can see the inside of the packaging has that same like uh, newspaper print in the background there. Right over here it does read DC Comics Collectible. And um, the artwork right here looks really good. On the side it's just pretty much purple all the way around. And then right here on the back you have a little bit of like newspaper uh, cl clippings or just like some... Uh, uh, like notes that the Joker I guess took so if you want to read that feel free and pause we have the creative team right here that helped make this and uh, some images of the character right here with some of the accessories that he does come with on the top right there it does read the Joker so that's really cool we got some tape and all that on there so again this is made by NECA so this is really cool guys Toys R Us exclusive figures I know a lot of people are really excited to have these in this scale so let's not waste any more time guys and let's take this uh, figure outside of the box so stay tuned alright guys so here we have a 360 look at the Joker figure by NECA you know what I was like when I first saw pictures of this I was like ah, oh, you know it's just gonna be another 7 inch scale figure. I don't know why I wasn't so excited for it, but now that I have this in hand, this figure is amazing. So here's a quick little 360 look. Let's take a closer look at this figure. So I'm going to show uh, the accessories that he does come with. He does come with this um, machine gun right here, which is he's the same one he comes with, with the 18 inch version. So this is obviously down size, but you get the machine gun right here, which he uses in that famous scene where he's going down the streetway against Batman and the Batpod. So you got the gun right here. It's got some nice detail. Don't make the mistake I did with the NECA one. I thought this part opens up and it didn't and I broke it. So you get that one right there. Um, you also get his handgun right here which is really cool you got the clip right there and then you have the top piece here so very nice you get the gun and uh, you also get his little knife because you know the Joker likes using knives so you get that right there so those are the accessories that you do get with this figure okay, so looking at this uh, action figure right here now he does look like Heath Ledger it's not a bad uh, version of this figure. I don't own the, I think it's Mayfix that did one and I pass on it only because I did not like how the head sculpt looked. And I have several of the DC Movie Masters figures, but the scale on this one I like a lot and the look is just on point with, um, you know, the likeness of Heath Ledger and same with the makeup looks great as well. The scars and the eyes I would say might be a little off and they kind of look a little yellow and it's not the light that's bringing that out but it looks like the eyes are a little bit yellow but other than that I mean I think the, the figure looks really really great you have the um the hair right here so you can see like the different colors of green on there so the sculpting on this is very nice very very nice on this guy and then you got the soft rubber right here for this side of the um of the hair so very cool that that you know the head sculpt on this is just awesome and then you have his jacket right here and you open this up he's got the well, not the different layers, but you got the different colors right here of the jacket and you have the vest right under here. So you can see the buttons and the different shadings, the wrinkles, the pockets, and then there's the tie right there. And the coat right here, which is a uh, softer material once it comes down to here. And then right here on the back, so you can see it is a softer material and it does have different colors. On the inside, this is like, uh, what color? I don't know what kind of color this is, but it's um, really nice how they did the, uh, the paint work in here. And then he also has his chain right there. It's an actual chain, guys. So you can move that around. Very, very cool. And he's got like the uh, 
pants right here. They kind of look like they're like pine strip uh, pants and they're purple right here. Very nice. You got the gloves right here, purple gloves. You got the other one right there. And then you have the sleeves to the jacket, which is sculpted on. Now the reason why I say that is because this is all like a rubber piece right here. So if you wanted to take the jacket off, you will have sculpted hands on this guy. And uh, here's the lower part of the legs here. And then you have the shoes, which look really, really good. Nicely sculpted as well. And then right there at the bottom, he does have peg holes. This is a side view of his boots right here. Very nicely detailed. Again, I mean, it's NECA, so you guys know exactly what you're gonna get when you pick up a figure like this. Now, there's one issue that I know this figure has, and it is some of the quality control, because I've seen on Facebook, either the knees have been breaking or he's the, at the joint, or right here, like the arm has been breaking off. So one thing I wanna say, we all know NECA's quality controls kinda sucks, so just be careful when you're doing you know, the articulation on this guy. Like honestly, to be honest with you, I really don't wanna mess with the articulation on this guy, but I'll just do it as gently as I can, just so you guys can see you know, how articulated this figure is, so <laughs> let's hope he doesn't break. Now, looks like the head can rotate, goes up and down, you can kinda tilt it as well. The arms go in and out, forward and back. He's got a bend. See, look, it's very, very stiff. He's got a bend at the bicep. Also, the lower arm can rotate. The hand can rotate and kind of go in and out. Uh, what else we got here? He's got rotation at the waist. He's got a little bit of a ab crunch there. The legs do go in and out, forward and back. Very good range of motion. Uh, he's got a bend at the knee. See, it's very stiff. And then lower leg rotation. Foot can go up and down, you can rotate it and kind of tilt it. So he's got some good range of motion, but again, I'm not gonna go too too much on the articulation. Now this is a nice little touch right here, right here where the sleeve is, it kind of opens up. And you can see the um, undershirt that he's wearing right there, so that's pretty cool. So the articulation on this guy isn't too bad. Now let's go ahead and do some size comparisons and uh, let's, let, let's take out the other 18 inch NECA Joker. So here he is. This is the 18 inch version of the Joker, okay guys? And here's the seven inch version right here. So you can see they both look great. They're not bad at all. The likenesses on them look very, very nice. So it's pretty much the same exact figure. I mean, he's got all the same colors and everything, the same accessories, same weapons. Just obviously he's downgraded, but a very, very cool, you know, to have both of these figures. Some other, um, seven inch and six inch scaled figures right here. So you can see a size comparison with some other Batman figures. We have the Mezco Batman over here and the DC Collectibles um, Batman animated series. And then there's a NECA one in the middle. So you can see the size comparison there. You there. Have it, guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the NECA seven inch scaled figure, which is a Toys R Us exclusive. So make sure you guys go to Toys R Us and pick this up. Go ask them in the, and you know, one of the workers there say, check in the back. So we want those seven inch scaled NECA figures. Now, again, this is a great figure. Finally, we get a nice, good version, a seven inch version of Heath Ledger as a Joker from The Dark Knight. Now again, just be careful with the quality control. Don't bend the joints too much. You don't want to break this figure because he is getting hard to find. I mean, everyone's going and the scalpers are getting them and the prices are high like on eBay. I think they're going for like 50, 60 bucks a piece. So, you know, just, or like, like something like that, like 40 or 50 a piece. So, you know, just, just head out there, beat the scalpers guys. Let me know what you guys think about the figure. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you guys haven't. Like the video. We'll see you guys later. Peace.